Hey guys, this is Anthony back from ERA Gaming 11 for some Glendustry tutorial thing. Got my modular power seat on, and I didn't retexture pants, but anyway. Um, yeah, I'm here today to give you sort of like a little. It's a spotlight for the mod Soul Shards 2, which was added in the Glendustry 1.7. And this mod was made by Shadow Dragon. So, this mod is really cool. I'm just gonna hop into survival mode. There you go. And, yes, this mod is really cool. Uh, it allows you to capture the souls of mobs and put them in your own spawner. So, I'm just gonna get myself some food because, well, I'm in survival mode. So. <coughs> Jeweled apples, always good. Okay, so, uh, I'll take this off. <clears throat> First of all, to get started with Soul Shards 2, you're gonna have to find some spawners. And actually, I'm just gonna do something here. I cannot see. Nope. And I'm just gonna type it in. At mod dot so soul shards two. There you go. This is all the things in the mod currently. And yeah, to get started, you're going to have to find some spawners. So I got some skeleton spawners here. Mine it up with my power fist. Yes, because I forgot the name. And boom, crystallized soul essence. To really do anything, you're gonna need a minimum of four. But, uh, I'll get into more detail with different things later. So there you go. Four crystallized soul essences. First thing you're going to want to make is a soul bl bleh, shadow blade. Ha, what am I saying? So, to make a shadow blade, make some sticks. Put the sticks at the bottom with two of the soul essences. Shadow blade. Look how cool that looks. Okay, so while I'm doing all of this to explain, I'll just get some iron cooking in my smeltery. Uh, so, after that, you're, you are going to want to get one of the crystallized soul essences in your hotbar. Uh, I'm just going to get two more of these, and I'm going to have it set to midnight. Perfect. And nope. That uh, oh, right, right, right. <laughs> I, I missed up for a second. So you are going to want to uh get one of the soul uh, soul essences in your inventory, then kill the mob with your shadow blade. Or not. Get out of here, jerk. Run, run, run. No? Why you no work? Oh, right, right, right. Uh, if I'm correct, different mobs require a different amount of soul essences. So I don't know how many a skeleton takes, so I think it's like two, maybe? Okay, it was five. New. There you go. So now, soul shard for skeleton. I killed another one by accident, but there you go. I'll just keep a couple of those in my inventory. So, yeah, different mobs require different amounts of soul essences, and you can find that on the forum post, which will be in the description, along with the download in the description on the forum post. So, yeah, skeletons require five uh, soul essences. And I believe blazes cost five, cows cost one, etc. Um, I'm gonna put my armor back on because it's getting annoying taking damage. So I'm just gonna break this because I don't need this. And also turn my flight off. I'm gonna mine this obsidian. 
all four of it, to be exact. There you go. So now, after you get the soul shard, you're going to want to make a soul cage. A soul cage is four obsidian and four iron ring four iron ingots with a crystallized soul essence in a crafting table. Any old crafting table. Then once you get that, you can put it on the ground. Looks pretty darn cool. Get the soul shard. Boom. Look at that. Uh, I'm going to get myself a lever for a second, just to explain something. Well, I'm just going to explain it while getting it. These... Well, this is practically your own spawner, and, well, yeah, it spawns mobs. So it's midnight, boom, your own mob, which was spawned by your spawner. And these can be turned on and off with redstone, so that's pretty cool. And one, once you break it, it looks like it's still in there, but it's actually not. It's just a little bug that's currently there. So, yeah, but keep in mind that you will always have your soul shard. Like, it doesn't use up your soul shard when you put it in the soul cage. So, that's pretty cool. I'm probably going to be using this soon in the Modulus Play Season 2, probably. If I can find spawners. Yeah. And then there is one more thing I want to take a look at. It is soul binding shards. Just speak for that is crystallized soul essence and a gold ingot. And what this does is that if you die, and I'm just gonna put all my stuff in my inventory like this. If you die, it keeps all the stuff that is in your inventory when you died. So yeah, that's pretty self explanatory. I'm just going to organize my inventory a bit. So, if I'm correct, I can just do this and this. And then kill myself. Wait, I'm going to set it to done. Oh, I got kidding me. No, 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 creeper explosions. No. Kill me. There you go. Hey, look at that! Ha! <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, so I'm just gonna fly back to my base. So, um, yeah, that's uh, the Soul Shard Stew mod. Wait. And I'm just gonna. Ah, oh, then. Oh, yes, I installed the teleporter module. Awesome. Ah, doesn't have that far range. No, oh, that sucks. Well, yeah. If you like the tutorial slash show, no, the showcase slash commentary, comment, like, and subscribe for more stuff from the channel. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Yeah, no, no. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Long fingers.